An indicted associate of President Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani is speaking out tonight. Lev Parnas, a big part of the Democrats' impeachment document dump last night, telling his side of the story. He's pouring cold water on claims that former ambassador to Ukraine was surveilled by backers of the president, but also claims that Attorney General Bill Barr was part of the team intending to get the Ukrainians to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden's son, Hunter. Justice Department says tonight that claim is 100 percent false. But Parnas doesn't stop there. He claims the president was in on the scheme. What do you think is the main inaccuracy or the main lie that's being told that you feel like you can correct? That the president didn't know what was going on. Uh, president Trump knew exactly what was going on. Uh, he was aware of all of my movements. Uh, he, I wouldn't do anything without the consent of Rudy Giuliani or the president. Well, potential swing vote in the Senate impeachment trial, Senator Susan Collins is questioning the Democrats' new impeachment evidence, saying, quote, I wonder why the House did not put that into the record, and it's only now being revealed. But when told that it's only just surfaced, Collins asked, doesn't that suggest that the House did an incomplete job then? We'll have more on that coming up. So the articles are on their way, and some of the trial details are established. But what about those Democrat warnings that senators will be held accountable if they participate in what the left is calling a sham cover-up? That isn't really a trial at all. Well, let's ask the Senate Republican Conference Chairman, Senator John Barrasso, for his take. Senator, good to have you back with us. Thanks for having me, Shannon. Okay, so I want to play something uh, today. This is from Chairman Jerry Nadler of the House Judiciary Committee, one of the managers. Here's what he says today. The American people have common sense. They know that any trial that does not allow witnesses is not a trial. It is a cover-up. The Speaker's insistence on this point has gotten results. He says her holding those uh, articles for weeks and weeks actually produced pressure on the Senate to uh, start this conversation about witnesses. And he says, if you guys don't vote for them and don't have them, this whole thing is a farce anyway. Well, what they've done in the House is a farce. The House has already been found guilty of, of abuse in the sense that only one in three Americans believe that what happened in the House has been fair, uh, has been even handed because the president wasn't able to face his accuser. Uh, the hearings were held behind closed doors. People were, and the press were kept out. Uh, and the president did not have due process. Justice will be done in the Senate. We will hear from the House managers. We will hear from the White House. Members of the Senate will be then able to ask questions of both of those groups uh, by writing questions to the Chief Justice, who will get those and, and present those questions. And then we'll make a decision at that point as to whether we need witnesses or not. That's how they did it when President Clinton was impeached in, in 1999. That's how we're going to do it following the Clinton model. Okay, so speaking of the Clinton model, Adam Schiff, who is the chairman of the House Intel Committee, also the lead manager on this whole thing, um, says today that there are some differences with the Clinton model and when it comes to witnesses and other things. Here's what he says. The White House has been sitting on hundreds and hundreds of documents that they refuse to release to Congress. The senators should demand them if they're going to follow the Clinton model, which they really haven't. Uh, all of those documents were turned over before the trial. Okay, so what is the duty of the Senate? What's the duty of the House as far as fact-finding, putting things together before it comes to you? Are you all to continue investigating based on what the House has given you? How does this work? Uh, no, you look at the Constitution. The House is to put together a case and then present that in the articles of impeachment to the Senate. And the Senate is then to sit and say yes or no, guilty or not guilty, of those arguments and that case that you presented. Uh, with, re with regard to witnesses, we're going to make a decision at a later time after we hear what the House has so to say and what the out. Senate has to say. Well, uh, it comes okay. down to what 51 senators mm -hmm. want to do. After we've heard from everyone mm -hmm. and had our own questions answered, mm -hmm. then the question is, have we heard enough? Have we heard enough to make a final decision on this? Or do we need to drag out this trial by bringing in more and more witnesses from both sides? The, 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 House managers want to call in witnesses. I'm sure the White House is going to want to call in a different group of witnesses. But every day we spend on this, Shannon, is time we're not doing the work of the American people in terms of fighting to lower the cost of prescription drugs, in terms of dealing with uh, issues at the border, in terms of, I'm chairman of the committee that oversees the highway bill. We need to fix our roads and bridges and tunnels. This stops all of those things. Okay, I want to take a look at some of the sights and sounds today. Uh, there was a signing ceremony. There were a number of pens that had the speaker's name on them. They were lined up. And as you do when you sign a bill, I mean, there's one stroke after another. And one pundit said, normally when you do these kinds of things um, and you're having a big bill signing, it's to celebrate something. And, and they 
thought maybe the tone was a little bit off here with people celebrating. You see uh, Congresswoman Maxine Waters holding up her pen. Um, the critics include people over at uh, CNN, or at least they had questions about this. Here's what they said. It was unusual to see that kind of, um, of ceremony and, and making, you know, handing out the pens and smiling for a picture mm -hmm. in this kind of situation where the House Speaker has bent over backwards to say publicly and privately, this is somber, this is not a time for a celebration. It was a little off message for someone who has tried to set a very serious tone, uh, and, and here she is posing for photographs with a pen. Uh, quickly, what do you make of the optics today? Well, I thought they were uh, disturbing. You know, you look at that, and she said this is a sad and serious time. Looks like she's at a sorority party handing out beers. I mean, I thought it was just wrong. Uh, but that's the way that Nancy Pelosi has handled this whole process. She rushed the process in the House, saying it was urgent. The word urgency, they continued to say the word urgency. They didn't have time for witnesses, she said, because it was so urgent. Then she held the articles 28 days, four full weeks. And the American public has seen through it. It has been a political stunt, and the American people know it. Well, we don't think it's over in the House because uh, Chairman Nadler, among others, has said these investigations will continue when they find evidence like did the, they did the last couple of days. They'll continue to release that. We'll see how this all works together as you become a juror officially sworn in tomorrow and then next week on the case. Uh, Senator, good to have you. Justice is going to be done in the Senate.